We finished our tour of this wicket. Now let's find out what the student body feels about this building. I decided to go investigate. In this wicket, they perform animal testing. Tell us in five and a half words or less how you feel about this. Sounds good to me, eh? Animal testing is good for... Ugh. What kind of animals do they test? They test on rats. Babies? No, adult rats. And baby humans? Um, actually, yes. I'd actually feel better if they switched to gerbils. Just gerbils. How about Provo High students? That's a good idea, too. Or even Fallon. Babies. You can test Fallon. He's test on Fallon and or babies. <laughs> you know, I've never really been to Provo High. That's true. But if they wanted to go to Liberty High, that would be okay. Which general authority celebrated their 12th birthday in this wicket? Bednar. It was Bill Nye. No. No, it wasn't. It was? Bill Nye's not. 12th and 13th birthdays. He liked it so well, it came back twice. I think you're lying. Oh, oh Bill, 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 Bill. I knew he was a Mormon. Final That's answer. a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> Okay, which is the fastest elevator in this wicket? Mm. The first right one. I always take the stairs. <laughs> Weirdo. Who does that? Fast right the stairs. No, I, I don't like the escalators. The escalators? It doesn't have escalators. Number four. <laughs> They're not numbered. <laughs> There's Fernando, Yvette, Vladimir, and Susie. Vladimir. Vladimir is the fastest? <laughs> yes. Which floor in the Swicket is the most romantic? Up the top, of course. You know, suicide packs and all that. It's a psychology. I do remember a good time on the fifth floor. <laughs> Eighth. Do you know this from experience? That's only my go-to. I guess that's good reason. It's the anthropology department. There's lots of naked people in tribes. So I suppose that could be considered a romantic. It is pretty conducive. Point. If there was a battle above the swicket between a flying shark and a flying crocodile, who would win? Oh, the shark. Definitely a shark, because he could fly. Fly away. Then well, the, cro the crocodile, crocodile can fly, too. Oh, they're both flying. They're both flying. Crocodile, crocodile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, no. That's true. <laughs> Why? I've seen it. <laughs> that one wasn't hypothetical. Yeah. That was last year. <laughs> Man, I missed it. <laughs> Crocodile? Do I have to take, say why? No. I don't. Okay, good. No, it's not an essay question. Good. True or false, Die Hard was filmed in the Swicket. Oh, true. That's definitely. Yeah. Nice now, uh, that's an R-rated movie. How did you... I was there Clean flicks. Clean flicks. Yeah. Don't they cut out all the Swicket references? No. Well, you know, they replace it with a cleaner word like... Swishy or something. The swishy. <laughs> Just a little more. Good story, but Mormon legend. Oh, matter. I was thinking of Braveheart. I don't, I don't know about that. Braveheart was not. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Who invented the Swicket? This is a multiple choice question. A. Thomas Jefferson. B. Thomas Edison. C. Thomas Da Vinci. D. Leonardo Da Vinci. E. A and B. F. A and C. G, C and E, H, F and R, or I, all of the above? F and R. F and R. I have to say Z. Are you asking me another trick question? Yes. If you were a hot dog and you were starving, would you eat yourself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there is no thought involved. There is an immediate yes. If you don't know, you don't know. No! Because hot dogs are disgusting. I die and revel in my own disgust. You just have a low sense of self-worth as yeah. a hot dog person. I'd probably eat the other hot dogs next to me. Cannibal hot dog? Yes. Ooh. Remind me not to be a hot dog and make you angry. No. No, because I wouldn't have a mouth. Good point. 
What's your favorite flavor of ice cream if you were on the third floor of the Swicket? Burnt almond fudge. Cherry, but not the kind that tastes like medicine. I'd say rainbow sherbet. What if you were on the eighth floor? Oh, well then you have to go with the orange sherbet only. No way, man. It's all about the rocky road on the eighth floor. If you could meet any famous figure in the Swicket, who would it be? Excluding Colonel Sanders. <sighs> now, a famous person from the Swicket, or a famous person just happening to meet them in the Swicket? Will you guys do the Swicket dance? I don't know how to Swicket. Are you going to film it? I go, uh, promise to turn off the camera if you will do the Swicket dance okay. right now. Okay. Okay. Swick it, 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 good. Swick it good. Oh, dang it. S-W-K-T, swick it! Woo! Yeah. Yes. I don't know if you can dance. 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 Like really weird people dance alone in front of a camera.